Sorry for the insanely long crawl text thing, just to be sure no one's day gets ruined. SPOILERS! A LOT OF FUCKING SPOILERS! I've had Christmas exams this week, and thankfully I'm done now, so hopefully I can make videos to make up for it. If not, sorry for the wait, and I should be, and I am, using a sick yeti for this video. If you haven't clicked off yet, everyone dies, including the science engineer man who is your one's dad. So, get wrecked. On the Star Wars scale, in order of best to worst, I put it just in front of The Force Awakens. Honestly, I thought it was really on par with the original trilogy, which is surprising seeing as the latest movies in the franchise have been a bit... stale, apart from The Force Awakens. Disney have made this movie so good. Vader is so incredible, and his lightsaber scene at the end is lit. It's so cool. He's like, pow, pow, evil man. And he, you finally get to see him as a, like, a scary, powerful guy that you don't really see as much, you know? Like, you kind of see it when he's fighting when he's fighting Luke, but it's not, you know. Anyway, the, the movie inspired me to go home and buy gold on Xbox One so I could play Battlefront. I, it's got to be a good movie to convince someone to play Battlefront. The character development was pretty poor, but at the end, spoiler, when the blind monk guys die, when the blind monk guy dies, after being like, I am with the force, the force is with me, I am with the force, the force is with me, and when the heavy guy bays Malbus and the monk are hugging, it's, it's so sad, it's really powerful though, it's like, yeah. The robot, K2SO, was really cool. And when he got the gun and he was like, pow, 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 100% accuracy. He was a bit like Sheldon from the Big Bang Theory. The odds of dying are 85%. I can survive in space. You can't. Stuff like that. There was good humor and the ending doesn't mess with A New Hope. It doesn't like completely derail it and make it just contradict it. Something that disappointed me but was unrealistic was film theories theory that the characters in this, the like main people, are the Knights of Ren. But that wasn't true, because they all die. My brother kept asking me where Kylo Ren was and wouldn't listen to me when I told him that Kylo wasn't born yet. That pissed me off. I was like, Darth Vader's in this, not Kylo. And he's like, eh, Darth Vader's dead. It was a bit boring at parts, and as I said, the character development was kind of poop. Uh, in the end, I do praise Rogue One, a Star Wars story, though. Thanks for watching, and comment if I should make a separate movie review playlist or continue these.